this is Hannah and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share a planner and it's going to be a Christmas gift. But she wanted an orange planner. Orange is not a color that you see a lot in planners, at least I haven't seen a lot of orange planners. So I was sort of scratching my head about how I was going to make that happen. And so the first one that I found was this one and it is orange. And but I mean, although I like the design, it was just this was such an intense orange. I wasn't really sure about it. And then it had the very small, like one inch rings. And I I set it up. I started setting it up, and I just wasn't feeling it. I just you know I'm like, nah, I can't really do this. So I'm like, nope, that's not going to work. And I kept looking around. I kept googling orange. Uh, planners and nothing was coming up. So then um, oh, two weeks ago, I think it was, right before Thanksgiving, Print Pressions had their Black Friday sale. I like their binders and they're not expensive. They have, it's a nice price point. So let me go see what they have. I haven't looked in a couple of months. So let me see what they have. And so I went out and I found the maple, which is what this is. And I thought, okay, I like that that's a nice that's a nice color not orange but it's close enough it's in that that warm family that orange is in like pumpkin spice it's in that family so it should be okay so you can imagine um how pleased i was when it arrived and it was in this very pretty orange dust cover i'm like oh great at least it's you know in the family that of uh, the color that she would like to have. So the color is maple and this particular binder is from the um, ring folio patina, P-A-T-I-N-A. -A. This leopard on the front was in a um, sticker book that I got from the Dollar Tree. No, there was one that had he was a dark gold, which probably would have been a little less jarring on the front of here, but I think this one works just fine because if you, when you, it's hard to tell from a distance, but when you get close up on it, he does have gold in him, and so it works very well, particularly because the inside of this planner is, as it's set up right now, is a leopard print themed planner. So the rings in here are uh, the 25 uh, millimeter. I, what I'm used to getting is the 35. I think these are 25, maybe 30, but they're much bigger than the um, one inch rings that were in the other, this other little orange binder. I, I didn't want it to be 100% functional and I didn't want it to be a hundred percent decorative. I wanted it to be in between. I don't know her planning needs. Most of the time I know the people that I'm setting up planners for so it's not a big issue. I know what they like. Um, either they've ordered the planner from me and they've told me or the person that's gifting them the planner has given me a lot of information to go on. And so I have a better idea of what the person wants. I chose the uh, leopard print theme because for one, the colors in this digital kit, the colors, these warm fall colors work so well with this maple binder. Okay, these, this sticker set, it was a freebie during their Black Friday sale. So I just stuck that in the pocket there. Um, and then I put in some of the stickers that I used inside. This one is from Plan So Cute. So I just included some of those in here. And this is, yeah, this is also Plan So Cute. So I just add one of those there. Then this is a, a freebie from Plan With B. And this one you get, it's uh, this planner belongs to, but there's also one 
it says allergies and medical uh, contact. And I put it in here, and normally I'll put a note with the planner that says, once you complete this, you can laminate it, because I just, if I had laminated it, um, they wouldn't be able to use it. Then I added some planner cards, just some, just some um, inspiration, and they are were freebies from Plan with B as well. So I thought they were they were cute and fun, and there were about eight or nine of them. And I I what I did I cut them out and put them uh, back to back on each other. And then I just put a little, I no, hope I can get this, I don't remember who was on top. But um, I just thought that was cute. And obviously, you know, she can take this stuff out and, and fix it however she wants. But I thought um, for the initial impression of when she first opens the planner and sees it, she'll have a nice look there. Then in these um, credit card pockets, I just put some more of the planner cards, and these are more freebies from Plan With Me. She has a lot of great freebies. She actually did a video where she shows how you can set up a complete planner with freebies. When I do planners for people, I include a letter that tells them where they can go to get free sheet, free stickers, and they can play with planning before they invest a lot of money in planning because yeah, you know, I even tell them to uh, economize on their their planner binder if they decide they want to get another binder. But anyway, um, I do try to include that additional information. Um, and then here, these are some more stickers. And I usually put a piece of acetate on top of the stickers so that when the planner when it's closed, anything that's in this pocket that's sticking out won't get damaged by the um, the ring. So I have some of the peekaboo stickers in here, and um, these are from Plan Plan for Happy, and I I love the little um, these little stickers. I have the bunnies and this and the frogs. I just think they are so cute. So. Um, I just added a couple of those and just secure them with a cute paper clip. And then beneath that, I just put, um, this is another, well, it was meant to be a pencil board, but the laminating plastic, I used the wrong weight, should have been 7 mil, and I used the 3 mil. So it's, it's kind of flimsy for a um, pencil board, but I just left it in here for decoration and it adds stability additional stability to the planner this dashboard is from the november digital dashboard subscription at planner press the subscriptions are great i have the monthly and you get sticker kits bookmarks pocket cards post-it notes dashboards for all planner sizes inserts, I mean, the whole nine. And you get, in your skin tones, you get five skin tones or six. So, like, for um, women of color, there are, like, three shades, three skin tone shades, and then I think there are maybe two for two others. But that I, I just love it because it helps me when um, I set up a planner I can set up the planner that reflects uh, the identity of the person. So um, these are more freebies from Plan With B. And these were the other uh, little cutouts I was telling you about that where you can list your allergies and all of that. So that's there. And then these others just have really cute little sayings on them. This is another dash from Planner Press. And all I did was printed out on vellum paper. The reason I like to use the vellum is so that when you close it, you still see the image. It, it, it's not just a, a white backing. So I like the vellum. And making them myself is a lot cheaper 
than buying the frosted ones online. Okay, this is a just a freebie from Plan With B, and in it she explains coding, and so I thought it would be nice to include that, and I just laminated it and then cut it down to a half page size. These quotation dash, I purchased those online, but I just thought they were, were super nice. And on these, because I was trying to not bulk it up so much, I did not laminate these. So I just put them on plain 28 pound paper and then covered it with a piece of acetate. This inbox, and this is just your normal regular inbox, and this is a freebie that you can get from Plan With B. So I put this one in in case she's a list maker. And this is another from the same company as the first one. And I included this hybrid inbox. And this is also uh, from Plan With B, but it's not a freebie. So if you want the hybrid, you would, if, if it's still in the shop, because I, I got this last year, so, but I think she still has it. But anyway, and in this hybrid one, you can see um, at the top, you can break it out like things to schedule, people to call, things you need to buy, uh, emails that need to be sent. And then you have obviously your list area here. So if you want to make the list, you can um, do it down there. And so I thought I would include that and she could have a, the choice. And like I said, I try to keep these in the middle of decorative and functional. So I just took a sticker from the monthly sticker kit and put it on the edge of this page. This is another digital dash board from Planet Press. And I don't remember what month it was, but it is one of my favorites. And I think I put this in all of my planners. Every time I switch planners, she goes with me. And another uh, quote dash. In the agenda section, I decided to go with the fold out agenda. So the thing I like about this particular I like the ability to plan everything inside for the month. I like that it has this additional column down the side. So, because for me, I group things like crafting, personal, political, and household, I think are the categories that I have. I thought I used all four advice, but that's what I put here. And then on the back, you have a, just an overview sheet for the month. And I use these paper dots to code, to do my coding, so that when I look at one of these dots, I know if it's medical, personal, political, crafting, I know. I set this up by quarters. So I did the first quarter, January, February, and March. Then I just put just a little decoration. I didn't do everything, just so she could get some idea of how to use the stickers in case she's not familiar. Then for April, May, and June, um, I put a spring dashboard there. And then I put those three months behind it. And I didn't do any decorating here. All I did was go ahead and put the names of the months in. Then for the next quarter, I used another wild thing. It's like to take a walk on the wild side. And this too is another dash from planner press. This was another one of the dash that month and so I just printed it on the back and laminated it. Um, that gets us through September and then for the fourth quarter I used the fall theme which is in the November kit with the animal print and with all the fall colors. And this is the pouch and in here I put the sticker kit and it has all of her animal prints and it has all the little icons and I you know always leave 
the name of the company, the Planner Press, Planner Press, so that the attribution is there. And then when the letters that I include with the planners, I list all the products that are used in the planner. If they want to go buy some of the digital pages I use and they want to punch their own, they can do that. Okay, and this is just another uh, quote dash. And then we get into the weekly pages. And I left... The, I'm using the open architecture weekly page here because I don't know how she plans her week and I didn't want to give her something with a lot of little lines in it. But I think what I'm going to do is put together like a sample pack for her of one or two different weekly setups that she can use. But I mainly just wanted to, to do some decorating and show her the washi and how she can use the washi. This washi is from Coffee Monster Company, Coffee Monster Co. And then the small strip of washi at the bottom was in my stash. And again, I created my own stickers for the days of the week. So again, I just went through and decorated a few pages. And this is uh, obviously Simply Gilded. You can always recognize Simply Gilded washi. So I just did a few pages and I didn't do anything special on these because like I said, I don't know her style and I don't want to burden her with a lot of decorating when she might just be a straight functional planning person. This is again, another um, planner press digital dashboard. I don't remember what month. And then this is her today sheet. And this is from Perfectionism Prints. And I like their inserts. This one I particularly like because when you download it in Adobe, you can change what you're tracking. There's a little drop down box. And so you have choices and you can make it what you want. Now I chose task, bills, reminder, and important but there are other choices that you can make. And then here they have the days of the week and then you can circle what day it is. But I just decided was to put in the days of the week and to put in some decorating. All right, then this pouch is the pouch where I included like the small date stamps, a few more of the bunny peekaboo stamps. This is the small bookmark. And then these are some more of the um, free planner cards that are freebies from um, Plan With V. And now we're at what I call the Do It Now section of the planner. And this is the section where she can use the getting things done method if she wants to. The, planner that she saw that I did for the doctor, I set it up using the GTD method. So I thought I would give her a small section in the back. And if she wanted to pursue that, she can. She can. This, of course, is a, another dash from um, Planner Press, the Digi download. Here, I just put a pocket and gave her some more stickers. I made a little this isn't even a drawing card because it's laminated. So I just put it in for decoration. This is the uh, GTD method. And so I just put the algorithm for that here so she would know how to use the system. So this is do it now. That's the first section. And then another dash next. And those are her next sheets. And I didn't give her the whole... I didn't give her all the sheets. I gave her the ones I thought would be relevant. I really think the only one I left off was Delegate. Then Projects. So she has her project section. And then Waiting On. Oh, I did put the Delegate. I did. Oh, I did. I decided that I would do Delegate Behind Projects. So I put those two in the same section. And then this one is... Um, waiting on. In the back cover, I just have some more stickers, the large book 
mark and um, a little notepad. I always like to put nice pens in the planners. These came in a, a set, so I think there were like eight in the set. And so these are very nice. And they, and they write well. And I thought the gray really worked. So that's, that's it. This is um, done. I think she's going to be pleased with it. The binder is super nice. It has a wonderful hand feel to it. It looks good. Um, and so um, I think this one's going to be a hit. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.